Uh, how difficult was it uh, to forge a consensus on the Ukraine issue? Uh, I, you know, this, as we have pointed out, is a declaration of 83 paragraphs. It has a lot of content. There, is, there are a lot of subjects which have been covered, some of which we have spoken about. Uh, but obviously, because of uh, the uh, ongoing uh, conflict, the strong views about it, uh, considerable time was spent, especially in the last few days, uh, in regard to geopolitical issues, uh, which really centered around uh, uh, the war in uh, Ukraine. Uh, the question, who helped? I mean, eventually, everybody helped, because everybody came together for the consensus. But I think uh, if I, Sherpa would bear me out, I think the emerging markets took a, a particular lead on this and you know many of us uh, have a, a strong history of working together. Bear in mind that uh, actually you have four developing countries in succession as G20 presidency, Indonesia, us, uh, Brazil and South Africa. So, but but I, w I would say rather than, you know, uh, who helped, uh, the, the point to be recognized is that a common uh, landing point was uh, ultimately uh, fashioned out. Uh, on the uh, Black Sea uh, Grain Corridor, uh, there are, you know, many discussions uh, going on. Uh, as you know, uh, the Foreign Minister of Russia is here, uh, the President of Turkey and his Turkey and his delegation are here, UN Secretary General is here, other people are here. So uh, it's, uh, it's natural that there would be discussions uh, uh, going on on this. In the past, uh, I should add, uh, when, when the Green Corridor was created uh, at Bali uh, last year, uh, we had also, in our own way, contributed uh, to some bridging of uh, uh, viewpoints and concerns, both between, uh, at that time, between Turkey and Russia, and also worked with the UN Secretary.